Shalom, like give all honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash, like a double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. Salutations to all you sincere brothers pushing this word across the four corners of the earth. This is an article from nationalnews.com, and the title says 5G Apocalypse. The extension event film reveals how 5G is an assault weapon meant to destroy humanity. This was published on May 19, 2019. It says, if you browse the mainstream media headlines here in the United States, you'll be led to believe that 5G is an amazing next generation wireless technology that will make everything faster, easier, and more incredible. And that's the mindset of America. They want everything fast and easy and convenient for their own desires. And that's how the so-called white man whose biblical name is Esau, Edom, in the scriptures, that's how he's going to lure the majority of are the masses of these American zombies in receiving his microchip, which is the mark of the beast of the scriptures. Because everything these Americans desire wants to be fast and just, you know, convenient for their own purposes. Like, that's why they have these different drive throughs Or if you want to just order something online, you can be able to shop online. And you don't even have to go to these shopping centers. It'll be presented to you by mail. You know, you have these different programs, you know, like Uber Eats, things of that such. Everything is just fast and convenient. And that's going to be the downfall of this society. And this is, but this is all a lie, as 5G is really an advanced military grade assault weapon in disguise that's being implemented as a final solution against a free humanity. And this is part of the elite's main agenda. According to the Georgia Guidestones, they want to maintain human population of 500 million. And they're going to be able to get successful with that program because Yahweh Bashan Shai, he's going to be dealing with Esau, but on that left-hand side. In the eye-opening film, 5G Apocalypse, the extension event by Sasha Stone, the ugly truth about 5G is revealing full horrific detail. Not only will 5G invade every aspect of people's lives, eliminating all privacy, but it also stands to become the most health-destroying technology ever created. And you think about these different technology things that Esau is creating, like the Wi-Fi, for example. Just think about all those electromagnetic waves that's going throughout your household while you're asleep. You know, that's causing a different type of, it's pretty much, it's slowly cooking your brain while you sleep. And it causes men to have low testosterone. It causes problems with the female system, like low sperm account, you know, with the men. Uh, you know, you have these females, they have breast cancer rates going up high. All this due to all these pollutants and these, these different technologies that Esau is creating. It's slowly cooking you or overcooking your brain. But he does his thing and he presents it as it's something fast, it's convenient for you. But at the same time, it's part of his plot to be able to destroy you. And at 5G, we're really going to see how Esau gets down. It says, contrary to the claims of those pushing for 5G to be implemented pretty much everywhere, this uber nefarious technology is anything but safe. And when something is nefarious, it's evil, it's wicked, it's devious. And these are all the synonyms of the so-called white man who's known as Esau today. And it says, in fact, it exists in antithesis to life itself. The frequencies it blasts harming biological function down to the cellular level. So it, right here, what pointed me out, it says nefarious technology is anything but safe. And, you know, you look into the word nefarious goes to evil, wicked, you know, criminal, base. And these are all details of the so-called white man. He's the opposite of anything that's good and pro-life. And Yahweh Bashar Shah detail this so-called white man in the scriptures so we can identify who he is today in these last days of times. And this is Revelation, the sixth chapter and the fourth verse. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that set the un to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword. And that red horse is referring to the so-called white man today. And that great sword is referring to Esau's spiritual blessing that our forefather Isaac blessed them with. That's how you can identify who are the so-called Caucasians today. They go back to Esau, Edom. And that's why Esau is going more and more with his nuclear weaponry, his different military programs, his satellites, his drones, his guns. That is a sword that he has been blessed with. That's a spiritual blessing. And now you have this 5G wireless technology. This is also a sword that he has been blessed with. 
And he's going to use this war against the American zombies. The book of Genesis, the 25th chapter, and just down to the 27th verse. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. So this is all in the beginning of Jacob, who represents the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And this is Esau, who represents the so-called Caucasians today. And just jump down to the point. So this is Genesis, the 27th chapter, and the 34th verse. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtility and taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright. And behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? So this is the point where Esau is receiving his spiritual blessing. And this is the point where Esau is receiving his spiritual blessing from his father Isaac. And that's now why we see it be more and more displayed nowadays. This is Genesis 27 and 37. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now to thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Verse 39. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling should be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. Verse 40. And by the sword should thou live and should serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And that's where that spiritual blessing comes from. Right here, Genesis the 27th chapter and the 40th verse. And by the sword should thou live. And you see that more and more so now in the news. With this 5G apocalypse, all these different technological advances Esau is doing with his uh, nuclear weaponry and his military, that's his blessing. So that's why these so-called Caucasians today have so much military might, because it's a blessing. How about y'all shall put the spirit on our forefather Isaac to bless Esau with? It says 5G will be used in microwave radiation warfare, experts warn. It might be easier for some to simply convince themselves that 5G despite its side effects is still for our benefit, but as this film reveals, 5G represents the worst kind of microwave radiation known to mankind and is absolutely going to be used as a weapon against humanity to enforce and maintain globalism. So that's the mindset of the so-called white man Esau. And just to prove that also, this is the book of Psalm 64 and 6. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. That's why Esau always in these laboratories. They always talk about we're trying to research something of this or something of that because he's still trying to do this as a nefarious plot at the end of the day. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. So everything that so-called white man, he's talking about he's researching. You best believe it's not for your own benefit. It's basically for your downfall. So everything this white man, he tells you, this is good, this is fast, this is convenient. You have to be in that mindset. You got to look the opposite way because everything Esau promotes as good in the media, you already know it's something devious behind that plot or that scheme. So that's the point right there and how I prove how through the spirit of power you have Basham Shai that in the book of Revelation, the sixth chapter and the fourth verse, how we prove that that red horse and how it links right back up to Genesis the 25th chapter and 27th chapters, you know, that lets you know that the New Testament and the Old Testament, that links up also, you know, because you can't use one book and think you got the whole truth. You have about Sean Shai, he has these books set up, and you got to pretty much link them together. And this is Matthew 13, 52. Then said he unto them, that for every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is a householder, which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. The so-called New Testament, the so-called Old Testament. You got to link them both up. And that's why through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashar Shai, we can present these videos to you all and be edified because Yahweh Bashar Shai bestowed the spirit upon us to be able to go through the New Testament and the Old Testament and you link them up, and we bring them out like that. And that's why this so-called white man is falling more and more so now because he's at the end of his last days to rule on this planet Earth. And he has to be taken down because things like this can't keep going on. He's destroying everything that he's touched. 
you know, with this 5G apocalypse. You know, but with that, I hope you all were edified. Like, give all honor and glory again to you. How by Shem, you have a shot by Shem with Cockle Dodge. Doubling us again to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. Salutations to all you sincere. Shalom.